Hey, Aspire Leaders, this is a bonus episode. Like I told you before, we are really going to be focused on providing some additional content for 2024, and I'm excited to have a wonderful guest, Steve Milliken, who is the chair of the upcoming MELC conference. And we're going to talk about his background, all of the experience he has as a leader, but then also talking about this wonderful conference coming up and how this event can help you within your leadership journey. Before we get to this quick bonus episode interview, I wanted to share with you that I've been sharing quite a bit of news on social media. I'm thrilled to announce that I'm going to be collaborating with the wonderful Charlie Peck. You've probably noticed this name. She's been on the Aspire to Lead podcast before, but she's also an author, podcaster, speaker, and works with school districts all over this country. We have signed a contract for an upcoming book with Connected Ed Publishing with the wonderful Jimmy Casas, and we're just super proud of this project, but then also honored to work with such a phenomenal publishing company. So stay tuned for more updates. Charlie's going to join me for a podcast episode as we're going to touch on this resource a little bit more deeply just to kind of give you a preview of what we've been working on for several months and give you a timeline as to when to look for this resource. We're going to be talking through the translation of behavior, looking at it as a language, and then also offering a fresh perspective on how we can respond to these challenging behaviors. So with that, let's jump into our conversation with Steve Milliken as we're going to talk about the awesome conference coming up in June at Breckenridge, Colorado, where I'm going to be keynote speaking on leadership capacity and how to improve our mental health through such a difficult position. Welcome back everyone to Aspire to Lead, where we will be discussing the visions, inspirations, and experiences from top educational leaders. My name is Joshua Stamper, and you can connect with me on Twitter or on Instagram at Joshua double underscore Stamper. All right. Welcome back, Aspire Leaders and Teach Better Family. I just appreciate you so much tuning in both on YouTube and the podcast platforms. But I wanted to give this real quick update and this bonus episode as I have a wonderful guest on with me who is a part of the MELC conference. And Steve is an integral part of planning and, and creating such a wonderful environment for our educators and our leaders. And so with that, Steve, thank you so much for being on Aspire to Lead. Absolutely. Thanks for the invite. If you wouldn't mind, uh, you know, just get a little bit of background of yourself. I know you're a, a veteran educator and leader, and I would love for my audience to get to know you a little bit more. Absolutely. Thanks very much. You bet. I've been in special education for quite a long time. I was actually the special education local director in Omaha for 20 plus years. After that, then the commissioner came calling and I was the state director of special education in Nebraska for a number of years. So yes, uh, special ed is my passion. And uh, with this particular conference, I've been working with it for actually 25 plus years. It's been fantastic. So that's kind of my background and continue to work with a planning committee from the Midwest, which brings, uh, we think, some of the best speakers and presenters in the country, yourself included. Um, <laughs> <laughs> to uh, to present to a group of mostly local special ed directors, but it's building principles. It's all mm-hmm. of education. So it's not a huge conference, but it's a very quality conference. Yeah, I would say so. And so I would love, Steve, for you just to provide a little bit of background on the making of this conference and how it's kind of evolved over the years. Yeah, thank you. Absolutely. The conference is what's called the Midwest, which is what MELC stands for, Midwest Educational Leadership Conference. We've had a history of six states, if you will, being represented at the conference. And of those six states, I have one representative from each state as part of my planning committee. Um, And so that's kind of how it works and has been that way for a long time. The intent is to get that planning committee together. And uh, we do a lot of of Zoom calls and uh, to put together leadership Uh, information for those leaders who work with all kids, but specifically to those kids with disabilities. That's special ed directors at the local level, but that's also building principles. Without them both in the room, sometimes it's not as effective as as a information, if you will. And Mm -hmm. so we do try to get all of them in and we continue to do that. We really work on content being information that they can gather and that they feel like 
then the next day they could use it if that makes sense. Yeah, um, for sure. And, yeah. And so that's kind of been our kind of been our focus to say, hey, let's bring in good stuff, but let's let's uh, have it be stuff that people can say, oh, aha, this feels like it's going to help me soon. And so that's kind of what our kind of what our focus our our focus has been. So we felt pretty good about that. It's not a big conference and it's about 150 people. And mm-hmm. that's, we close it off after that, just because we just feel like that's the most effective to have conversations. We also want our presentations to be interactive as much as possible. So it's not a, you know, sit, sit there and listen for a few hours. I, <laughs> I was never good at that. So I said, hey, <laughs> me neither. <laughs> well, no, we got to have hands on stuff here. So let's, Let's get hands on. So that's what we really try to do. Um, I love and, it. Yeah. And so speakers who really get the, when you're 150, you can have, you know, tables, round tables of people really mm-hmm. working and talking and, and speakers who move around and engage. And, and that's kind of the, that's kind of what we've tried to do. Feedback on it being that personal has really paid off. We actually have a lot of returnees, at least prior to COVID. We used to, sure. uh, over the years, you know, let's take the 20 year before COVID where it was not unusual to have about 60% of people returning, mm-hmm. people who'd already been there. And that's, sure. a good, you know, and that's a good message. So that's what we really worked on. You know, we're kind of, we've kind of rebuilt after COVID. Um, and so, you know, working to get, we still have some that had come previously, but it's, but it's mostly, it's been newer people the last, mm-hmm. the last year, last couple of years. This podcast is a proud member of the Teach Better Podcast Network. Better today, better tomorrow, and the podcast to get you there. You can find out more at teachbetter.com slash podcast. Now let's get back to the episode. This year it's going to be, I guess the last couple of years, I think it's been at Brickenridge, Colorado, a beautiful mm-hmm. town here in my lovely state. And uh, the conference will be June 17th to the 19th. And Steve, will you just kind of share out uh, some of the speakers and some of the topics that you're going to have overarching within the conference? Absolutely. It's a two and a half day conference. We've done this differently over the years, but right now it's a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We'll get mm-hmm. that at noon on Wednesday in June, June 17th to the 19th. What we've also tried to do is I've been involved at the national level on a variety, on a different entities, if you will. And so we've tried to bring in the national conversation in the sense of what's happening at the national level. So as you learn stuff here, how can it impact the requirements that we have uh, and how we teach kids, all kids, but kids with disabilities. So day one, we're actually bringing in Glenna Gallo, who is the current assistant secretary in education at the federal level. So in charge of what's called OSERS. OSERS is Office of Special Education and Rehabilitation Services. Hmm. which actually is right above OSEP, yep. OSEP of its Office of Special Ed. So she, the OSERS director, is going to be there and kicking the conference off. So she's going to spend all morning more focus on not specific to requirements and paperwork, <laughs> but more about things that they hope that they can do at the federal level, which helps encourage quality instructional leadership. And that's what she's going to talk about. That's going to be, as I said, the opening morning. We're going to take the afternoon, and so we're going to listen to Glenna in the morning, and then in the afternoon, I've got uh, we've got three state leaders, so state special ed directors who are part of the planning committee. Two of them are at least Kansas, Nebraska, and Colorado, or who are looking at getting there as state directors. And so then in the afternoon, they're going to then respond, if you will, in a sense to what Glenna is talking about. And then lots of interactive conversations with everybody to say, okay, you know, here's how we can make make work what is coming from the feds, but also what the feds kind of want us to do. And just good conversation about that. So that's kind of the intent of the of the first day. Again, plan of that to be very interactive. And back to the morning of that day, Glenna, Glenna will make it really interactive. She wants to hear what the states need from her. And so we'll have good conversation, good Q&A with Glenna. So we're looking forward to that. That doesn't happen very often. So we're very fortunate to get her. So that's great. Yeah. Day two, we've got the the Hannigans. Basically, they're focused. They've written a textbook. I'd have to look at the exact name of the textbook, but it's all uh, Don't suspend me. There you go. And, and so that's what they're going to do, talk about and work on all day long on Tuesday. 
we're going to have a lot of conversations about alternatives to suspensions. Yep. The book is going to be in the hands of everybody there. Really excited about that. They've done some national presentations and trainings and the feedback that, that we got as a committee on those was fabulous. And so it's a really going to be a challenge for uh, to have great conversations about thinking differently about how we discipline kids, how we react in classrooms and, and what we are doing that simply isn't working and pick up on the things that are working with, with good guidance from, from them. And I say them, it's a husband, wife, a combo that have done a, done a ton of work. We're really thrilled about that. Then day three is we wait for the best to last. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> then we got Josh, uh, you on, yes. uh, on the morning. And uh, and then we go from about, I mean, about 8.30 to 11, 11.30. Mm -hmm. To have that conversation, it's, it's really, and the work that you do, you know, just the good motivational leadership, inspiration yep. stuff to say, Hey, I'm a leader. What can I do to be better? What can I do to get inspired? And what can I do to inspire others? We're really pretty pumped about that. The last half of a day, Josh, sometimes, you know, we like to get stuff that's inspirational, if you will, to hold people. Yep. It's, you know, it's sometimes it's hard to keep everybody there on the last <laughs> few hours. And so we're excited about having you there. But anyway, so, so that's kind of the gist of, uh -huh what that day and a half looks like at the, at least this year. So we've got the federal perspective. How do we, how, how is that working for us at the, at the each state level? Mm -hmm. Good conversation. And then some very specifics on day two and, and then your conversation on day three. Well, I'm beyond excited, Steve, to join you all for this impactful conference. And so um, I'm going to put on the screen real quick because I know there's probably just a few tickets left, but uh, I created a bit.ly for folks, uh, MELC 2024. If you uh, use that link, it'll get you over to Eventbrite to get your ticket for the event. So uh, make sure you're using that. And of course, I'll have all the information on joshstamper.com for those to look at, you know, not only uh, the information about the speakers, but uh, more information about the event and uh, how you can get connected with Steve and the team over for MELC. Steve, I'm so, like I said, so excited about the event and just what it's going to bring to the educators that are there in attendance. And you have some very impactful folks that are going to be speaking to the attendees, uh, like you said, at the federal level and also at the various state levels and um, some topics that are very passionate on my own. So I'm so proud to be able to uh, to end the event and hopefully uh, inject a little excitement and inspiration for those who are in attendance. And Josh, feel like you, just so you know, feel like you can join us for the whole conference if you want to. If yeah. Your schedule allows, but we'd love to have you. Yeah, it's, it's pretty exciting. So the location we've been in the past 20 years at a location that we are at a new place this year. Been at the Mountain Thunder Lodge. Now we're going to be at a place called the Village at Breck. Okay. which is at the other end of town. It's a little better with space and also better with its accessibility to the downtown area. We try to be a very family focused conference. So we try to, we encourage people to bring their families. It's not hotel rooms. They're actually condominiums with kitchens. And so we really encourage that as well. That's well, cool. I'll have to bring my whole crew then and uh, enjoy the Breckenridge experience. There you go. <laughs> Do it. Do it. Well, for those who are listening right now and, and may have questions and maybe want to even tap into your experience, either in special education or in leadership, how can they get connected with you specifically? For me specifically, I'll just give you the address or my email. Yeah. I, I have no problem with that at all. And um, S Milliken, so M-I-L-L-I-K-E-N five, just the number five at gmail.com. Perfect. And I'll make sure I have that also in the show notes for everyone um, to be able to connect with Steve. Um, if you have any questions, like I said, on those topics or in regards to the conference, he is extremely accessible and it would love to answer your questions. And then um, for those who are watching on YouTube, I appreciate it so much. Please make sure that you're hitting that subscribe button either on Joshua Stamper YouTube channel or with the Teach Better Team YouTube channel as that's both of those are growing communities. And with that, Steve, I just wanted to thank you so much for your time, sharing a little bit about the conference, all the wonderful work that you're doing. And uh, like I said, I'm, I'm enthralled to be a part of this event here uh, in June. Again, the conference is June 17th through the 19th. Absolutely. Thank you, Josh. Looking forward to working with you. 